Oh, we should explain what this is. We well, just we just have a colander um, with paper towels in for when we empty this bucket when it gets full of red paper water, because you aren't too. you aren't really supposed to put it down the sink all that pulp because it'll it's it clog up the drain clog up the, the, the pipe like paper mache. Yeah. All right. So normally I'm right-handed. I'll put this the other way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, there's a pulp. You can see it's just little tiny, you know, feathery pieces. Um, I just use a knife because you don't want to splatter. And we're just pouring it in there, all of that into the mold. And then I usually put some water in this right away. Yeah, if you're doing the same color of paper and you're doing several of them, you can kind of assembly line it. Yeah, even if you're, if you're not, it's best to yeah, fill it with water so it doesn't so dry in there. It doesn't get quite so dry. But you can also go and rip up the next batch of paper <laughs> yep. and get it soaking so that then you're ready, uh, by the time you get done with this, it's all soaked and yep, ready to normally go. Normally I would just let this sit here and I'd rip up the next sheet of paper mm -hmm. and put it in there um, and then come back to this once I've done with that. That way it can soak. But anyway, I just use a knife. Again, you can just use your fingers if you want. And I just kind of <laughs> swirl it around. You just want to make sure it's even. Um, just because sometimes if you pour it in there, you could have a big lump of pulp over here and then not as much over here, um, depending on how you pour. So you're just trying to get it even. And then you simply lift up nice and straight and steady. I usually rest my hands on the sides of the tub because you want to hold it nice and level as it drains the water out. And you can see already, um, it's mostly done. You can hear that dripping. And then what I'll do is I'll tilt it to one end to drain a little bit more water out. And see how much red water gets down in there? <laughs> <laughs> and you, the, you'll yep. see your color in your water, mm -hmm. definitely. So All I right. usually change, like if I was going to change to a blue paper or something, you know, then you kind of rinse everything off, yep. empty the bucket, empty pour it through the paper towels. Because <laughs> you definitely can't do like a, a white paper in this water. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then you come over here to your tray, and what I do is I'm holding this, if you can see, I'm holding the mesh down here. So I hold it flat on the bottom, and with the other hand, I take off the strap. And I'll bring it over here, and I just kind of hold it with my thumb. And then I take off the other strap, make sure you have that bottom on there tight, because you don't want this to fall down. Take your other strap over here. I set this down, and then you lift straight up and wait for that to release. And you can kind of shake it a little bit if you need to. And there we go. And then I just set this, kind of rinse it in the water, and set that in the sink. There's our red paper. And it got a little bit messy over here, so I'm just going to roll that off. Whoop. doesn't really matter because you can kind of, if you don't like that on there, you can tear it off afterwards, That's too. That's true. And then you take your mesh, and you lay it over top, and then you take your sponge. And this is why the big sponge yep, is where it's you have, nice. It covers the whole half a sheet. Mm -hmm. at all at once. And I just kind of press nice and hard and then I flip the sponge over and do the other half pressing nice and hard and just getting the majority of that water out. Another reason why we like this sponge because with the little one that comes with it you're constantly wringing, wringing it out. <laughs> yeah that's why the thickness of this is so nice it holds a lot more water and it's, and it's, it's really very fine, fine yeah so it soaks up a lot. And then you just wring this out and it's very tough. You can ring on this mm -hmm. thing and it's not going to fall apart. Get that water out and then I put it back over there and then I usually use my fist to really press down hard and get the rest of that water out. And then I flip it and do the other side. again. Then have you put it on the cruise paper and I can follow you over there. Yep. <laughs> you take your Normally it's my job to go put the paper on the table. <laughs> I do the hard work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take your when Leah's off. here, 
<laughs> She's got the good arms. <laughs> and then you take your tush paper, and we reuse these, so you can see this one's has maybe mm -hmm. a little bit blue on there. Obviously, we did. Oh, why don't before. you show them? We do have some new ones underneath. You could show them yep. what. The, uh, there's some unused ones that, and they're all nice and white and this clean. This is a brand new one. Ooh, they mm -hmm. look so nice. It's nice and straight yeah. and flat and white. <laughs> yeah. But, but we just reuse them. <laughs> we they keep work reusing. Fine. And all I do is I press this on here, and you can kind of see where it is. You know, if you see a white spot can usually kind of press and you want it to be on there pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up now, flip it over and we want to peel this off so that it's only on the cush paper. And there we go. So now I have this and we'll go lay it on our table. Well, I'm just going to go ahead of you. <laughs> Another tour of the apartment. And then we'll set it right here and we just carefully tip it over. Like I say, this is something we just do. It isn't in the instructions. You know, they like you to leave it between the couche papers and all that. And you can have paper presses and all kinds of things, but we just do it this way. And you just peel it off. And there and it is. And your nice piece of paper. And later on, uh, I will take a quick picture and show you how these do a really great buckling job <laughs> as they dry. <laughs> Um, but that's that's the whole routine, and that's what we're going to be doing for who knows, a couple Until of weeks. We get about a hundred of them. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. So we're going to be really busy with this for a while. Yep. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye.